nitrogen was filled in it. Okay, so so far we've talked about the best moment we can have because we're experiencing earth life and we're believing it and we're believing we're human beings too. So anyway, and I had told you on another show, I'm going to sit down, Betsy, do some more talking. We're human. This is God. Goddess. It is. Okay. Whatever. It is mother, father, child. Okay. And we are, you know, in this suit. Human. What is that? 13, 1, 14. So we got, what, a 1 and a 27? That is a 28. That's my favorite number. I always love that number. I love that number so good. <laughs> love carries us. You know, 28, that relationship. We're, we have a relationship. That's that first number. Relationship with everything. And that number right there, that 8, I say this all the time, sex, death, money. You know, these are all psychological problems. They, they too, they can be. So we have this, these relationships and with food. You know, all the time. So this number, and it's the one. How about that? That is a one, just like Get out of here. Just like um, true is one. Human is true. Hmm. You are an ET. That's true. Hmm. How about that? And we are completely innocent of this knowledge. Unless we eat from the tree of knowledge. Then we will become as the gods. And Jesus said, is it not written that I said you are gods? Okay. So what are we going to do? What did I say I wanted to look up? The wheel of fortune? Maybe I did. I think I did. Did I meant to say the wheel of fortune? So, let me see if I got any books down here that will take me to the wheel of fortune. Maybe. Let's see. I'll take one of mine and Wheel of Fortune. Does it go to the back? Mike. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. That Wheel of Karma. Let's see what it's talking about today. Okay, okay, okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, we shall set about to teach thee of the difference between two conflicting issues that mortal man oft times confuses. That being pleasure and joy. There is a vast ocean that separates the two. Yet, mortal man readily accepts pleasure as joy when indeed it is not pleasure but sorrow. And understandably so, mistakes joy for pleasure when it is indeed joy alone that brings true pleasure. Let us say that joy is stillness of the heart. And let us say that joy exists as joys apart from pleasure. When there is nothing from an outside source that is activating that joy, that is true pleasure. That is truly the best moment you can be experiencing. Joy. When there's nothing coming from nobody, no how, no way, no when, nowhere, no nothing. Just here. Just it. This is it. This is as good as it gets. This is it. This is it. This is all there is. There's nothing going to be added. It's not going to get any better. It's not going to get any worse. This is it. This is it. It is fully contained. It is magnificent. It is true, pure joy. Now, joy is a 10. The middle of joy, there's that relationship again, number. Okay? But, that particular number is the relationship with food, and that particular number is the number of the devil in the tarot cards. Okay, and we have 25, which is the number of release. All right, so joy, I had another number, the heart of another word on another show that was 40, which was the foundation. Oh, beauty. Gosh, 
Now I can start doing a dance right now. If we're going to talk about how joy is beauty, because that beauty is, you know, within you. It is written in the Bible that God is not a man. You know, we are light. We are full of joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Okay, so we got 10 and we got 40. We got 50. And that, my friends, is that movement of the physical body and everything in this world that vibrates. Everything vibrates. Everything. This pen vibrates. This vibrates. That vibrates. Those flowers vibrate. My painting vibrates. This chair vibrates. This floor vibrates. This air vibrates. Everything vibrates. Everything is energy. Everything. Human. I was going back to this. True. I just love it. True, true, true. And best. The fives. That's what I... I, I just can't get away from it. Look at that, Mincy. I haven't even gone five or ten minutes in the show. The best that we have is joy, unspeakable and full of glory. It's the best moment, the very best moment that you'll ever have in your life is right this minute. While you're looking at me on this television, listening to me, or on the YouTube or wherever you're listening, looking at me at, it don't get no better than this. This is it. This is the height. This is the ecstasy. ecstasy. This is ecstatic orgasm. It is all there is. There is nothing beyond this. It is it. That's it. It is it. And what it is saying, the best joy that you will ever know, the best joy is coming from within. Nothing can be added to it and nothing can be taken away. And that is true. And this is that inner truth that you are an ET. And the sun feeds you. And you are a human who exists solely for the pleasure of being, of existing. Exist. You are full of pleasure because you exist. You exist because you're full of pleasure. And you are a photon of light. That's why you shine. You know, when a, a dead person is dead, there is no light. Not any movement either, but there's no light. The light goes out of their eyes. So, or his or her eyes. Let's see what exist is. A five starts with that movement. Here's that beautiful music. <gasps> Mitzi, could it be that we exist as musical beings? I think I have did a show on that again sometime. Nine. There's that 19. <gasps> There's that sun. There's that nitrogenic sun. The fusion, the inside of that sun. And then there's that mother, father, child, God. Wonder why I keep repeating that. Wonder how that could be. Mother, father, child, God. You know that shin, remember? That fire. Okay. Anyway, let's continue on. We got a 14. All right. All right. Uh-huh. Does this horse know where it's going or what? Let me get back over here to that best. The best moment you'll ever know. The best moment you'll ever know is right this moment. Five. 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 What is that? Five. The heart of exist is five. The heart of exist is the best you'll ever know simply because you exist. There's nothing to be added to it. There's nothing to pursue. There's nothing you want. There's nothing you need. It's all provided for just like the plants are supplied every single solitary day. Just like the birds and the insects and the animals are cared for. And none of them go in search of competition or um, comparison. Of course, the law of the jungle, I know that, you know, animals um, consume one another when they have to. I'm not talking about them. Say they don't upset the natural balance of things. We as humans, we try to accept, accept. We don't accept much. We try 
to destroy the natural balance of things. I'm going to do it except since it jumped out of my mouth. All right, what we got? We got 24, which is 43, which is 63, right? 24, 43, 63. What have we got? We got, you mean to tell me we've got, Mitzi! I've told you and told you, seven is God's number. Okay? This exists two times. Two times the emphasis of God. Two times. Now, if that's true, then I might be saying that a mother, a mother, a female energy, a father energy, that would be the two times from that mother and father energy of that God creates that child, which would be what is referred to as an extraterrestrial. We don't come from this world. Jesus said it. Jesus said you're in this world, but you're not of this world. You are a peculiar people. All right. So the best, best moment and the truest moment is now. We exist. Two sevens in that. Two sevens, making it a 14. And we've got one foot on the land and one foot in the water. Because we are regenerated by this cycle, this human photosynthesis cycle. All right. Now, let us go on with the next part of the show. What's it going to be? I brought something today. I haven't opened up. I can't even imagine when's the last time I opened up this. I don't even know. Um, but I, I'm not aware. I could be if I wanted to think about what day it is, what today is. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not even going to. These are the days of the month is what this little teeny thing is. And on each day, there is something written about that day. But since I'm on this horse and I'm riding it and I don't ever do anything the way that any logical sense could be applied to it, I'm just going to flippy floppity flip and just pull out a card. All right. Animation day. Woo! Animation day. That's what it is. It's an animation day. And no, and whoa, and what is and uh, no, May Shun Day. Hmm, I know you can't see this emblem on there, but anyway, oh, and guess what? Zebra rules this hour, this moment. Zebra, zebra, let's see why. One, five, nine, four, one, two, nine, six, five, ten, eleven, twenty-six. That was the heart of something else uh, in another show or this show. Nine, eleven, sixteen. No! No, 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 no. Not again, not again, not again. I had this on another show. I told you about how powerful that number is. 42. What you're going to do with 42? Animation. Animation. You know what that is. You, you go to movies, you see it. But some com they're computer gem generated. And somebody behind the, the apparatus is causing that figure to move. It's and you're being able to see it on the screen. Uh, I think that's a little bit like we are. I think. There's something that's causing us to be able to move, to breathe, to have our being. We are not doing it. We cannot start it and we cannot stop it. We cannot exit this earth until it's that moment that we are designated to leave this earth. 42, what are you going to do with 42? Now let's see about zebra. Do I want to do, you know that zebra, that's a Z, so that is an 8. So it's going to be a 26. How about that? That Z is the heart of that. It really is. That Z 
is the heart of animation. Now let's go on. Let's, let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what we're going to learn. Remember, we're going to learn, 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 because this is the best moment there is to learn. Six, eight and two is 19. Ah, <gasps> wow. Let me make sure. 19, there's that sun again, Mitzi. The sun carrying nitrogen that we can't live without. Huh? Okay, brings on more talk. And then when we put this together, you know, I always do this because that's so easy and it, it, it gives you something to think about. That six is love and conflict. Just like the stripes on the zebra. Dark and light, dark and light makes the zebra. Okay, he's not dark or he's not light. He's both. We are too. You know, we're not good, we're not bad, we're both. All right, so we've got a 25 going on with that zebra. Now, 25 always represents, always, um, always, always, always. It represents release and it represents surrender. What are we surrendering to? Well, it'd be good to surrender to the idea that we're an ET. We don't have to wait for them to evade, evade, hmm, evade. Evade, that means to hide from us, but to invade. Evade, let's see what we got here. I love it when these words jump out. Okay, that's 11. That just happens to be that day too. 22, 26. <gasps> 37. That's that magic portal. Okay, so they're not hiding from us. We are it. We are we are the very thing we talk about. They're not going to invade us. All right, let us go on to the next page. Let's turn this over, see what's on here. Okay, the other word on the back of this particular card, objectify. How do you like that word? Objectify. Hmm. Objectify. 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 We want to objectify something, don't we? We always do. We want to cause it to become an object. I would say we want to cause it to become an issue. We want to cause it to become a matter. We want to cause it to become important. And that, what did I tell you at the beginning of the show? There's nothing more important than what's happening right now. So how are you reaching out there and dragging in something?